Dixon Golf is the world's first high-performance, eco-friendly golf ball company. So we were looking in the industry just to kind of see where a niche would be and where a need would be. And we recognized early on that there's about, you know, two billion golf balls made a year. They were just being thrown away or they were getting lost. If you line up two billion golf balls, that wraps around the world twice. And so that's a yearly loss of, of golf balls. And we thought, you know what, there's something that can be done that's better. What William Carey thought was better was creating a product that was not only good for the player, but for the green below it. We looked and said, well, what's the real problem out there? Inside the golf ball, inside the core, there is no regulation. So you can essentially put anything inside a golf ball. And there's just been all sorts of weird things put in golf balls, from tungsten to lead, mercury. And we said, you know what, let's do two things. First of all, let's make a golf ball that can be totally recycled and create a recycling program around it. And in case the golf ball gets lost in the environment, let's put products in there that don't hurt the environment if it just erodes. We took out any of the heavy metals or things like that and put in some heavy earth salts. We're one of the first on the equipment side and to let people know that, hey, even your equipment can be more eco-friendly. How eco-friendly is it? Well, I decided to take it to the lab to find out. Tian Miao Lai, who specializes in material sciences and engineering at ASU, cut open a Dixon golf ball to compare its core to average models. It's the softest one among the three, and <laughs> this one is the hardest one. And it took me a long time to cut it open. After being examined under an energy dispersive x-ray and electron microscope, results show that Dixon Golf has far less harmful metallic elements than compared with average brands, where aluminum and traces of titanium and zinc were found. If there are heavy metals, definitely it's going to do huge harm to the water environment. The Dixon Golf Ball checks out in the lab, but does it check out on the course? And who better to see how the screener ball compares than former pro golfer and current TPC instructor, Rob Rochelle. All right, here we go. Oh, it's got a chance. For a former pro and Titleist lover, Rob believes Dixon makes the cut. It felt pretty good with, uh, with most of the clubs in the bag and it performed pretty well around the greens and, and with the driver. I think that um, you know it's not too dissimilar. I'd probably have to do a little more research before I would actually play with it in a tournament, but I think it's, um, I think it's a good golf ball. When you think of an eco-friendly golf ball, you automatically think, oh, it's probably not as good. We determined early on that it needed to perform as well or better than the other products on the market. Otherwise, it would be categorized as a gimmick. Somebody making the effort to build something that's, that's playable and kind of friendly to the environment, I, I don't think that's a bad thing. So I commend the guys for giving it a shot. While Dixon Golf and the Waste Management Phoenix Open help keep the sport of golf green, they also want the lessons to go beyond the course. We grow up as kids loving sports. There's something in our heart that just loves it. And so sports has a way that we follow it. If the sports industry sets the lead and sets the example, then obviously the majority of the people that are interested in that will follow. And there's a lot of people interested in sports. And the bottom line for us is we're dealing with golfers. And what we want to do is we want to bring up something that says, hey, you can actually do something better for the environment. It's not going to hurt your game and actually it will help your game. If you can do that with your golf ball, you can probably do that with other aspects of your life. And I hope that other people can, can see us and they can see, hey, maybe in my industry, I can make a difference. Thanks for the story, Carrie. So are these balls biodegradable? Actually, Jared, the golf ball is not biodegradable. What's being put inside, that's eco-friendly, and how it's being produced is eco-friendly. But players are not going to have to worry about the quality and performance of this golf ball just because it's greener. So that's kind of a cool thing, and that's maybe something the sports world can kind of look at in creating sustainable equipment over time.